All navies. The RN is looking to reduce the number of sailors required to operate its warships as qualified personnel are expensive and in short supply. While putting fewer people in harm's way, a smaller crew can have its limitations. In this article, we will look at how the designers of the Type 31 frigate have balanced a smaller crew with more efficient operations. Background The Type 31 frigate has been designed from the outset to minimize crew numbers. This is part of an overall philosophy to keep costs down both up front and down the program. Although based on the parent design, the Type 31 is very different and meets a completely new set of naval standards. The program also provides an opportunity to take advantage of cutting-edge technology and apply it from an outlet. For example, the Type 31 was the first to use the unattended machinery space UMS, notation on an RN frigate. The combat value itself is made up of several elements made possible by the original design and the quality of the personnel on board. The four most important factors are 1. Lethality slash mission capability 2. Vulnerability slash survivability 3. Survivability and 4. Recovery capability in the event of damage. Overall mission capability is determined by offensive weapons and support systems down to smaller elements such as ships. Self-defense can include powerful effectors such as missiles or guns, and less powerful systems such as decoys and electronic warfare capabilities. Passive protection also includes reducing radar signature RCS, and underwater radiated noise URN, which makes it more difficult to detect and target the ship. The survivability of a ship depends on measures taken to mitigate the effects of damage and continue to function while also saving lives on board to the extent possible. Much of the cost and complexity of good warfare design and construction is devoted to mitigating the effects of blast, shock, fire and flooding and having resilient systems that will continue to function even if parts of them are destroyed. Recoverability is the ability to react efficiently to damage, restoring the ship so it can remain operational or fending off a follow-up attack. This survivability can only be achieved through fixed features and systems that are built into the ship during construction not retrofitted after the ship is operational. Bitter experience has ensured the RN continues to build warships to a high standard of survivability and recovery, including the Type 31 frigates. Contemporary lessons from the Falklands War, 1982. The serious collision of HMS Southampton, 1988. The grounding of HMS Nottingham, 2002, and the near sinking of HMS Endurance, 2008, have driven this priority. Determining the Type 31 crew size. 